All right, here we are. <coughs> Let's give this a go. So, I have already watched this replay, and I can tell you that your main issue is that you are not using your ultimate enough, or it's not being used very optimally. Optimally, is that a word? Yeah. <laughs> and that you are not using proper cover, which is one of the basics of any uh, online FPS game. Um, your tar target priority can be better. Uh, you're hacking when you can just shoot to kill someone. And you're not moving your teleporter when the fight is happening elsewhere. So. Let's watch this. So I was a bit worried here that you were looking at the robots and I thought, oh god, are you gonna go there and push it? But no, good, very good. Fighting has started ish, so yeah, this is a, this is a fine, fine time to start the game. So, look at that, right? Just you <coughs> shooting this BAP, right? You didn't kill him, fine. What happened? He was like, oh shit, what's going on? I will have, I'm hiding. So, he's hiding. He's not able to shoot your team while hiding, he's not able to heal most of his team while hiding, and he just uses self-heal, that also can be used to heal others, just for himself. Right? And what did you have to use? You used one ability and a couple of bullets, and you lost no health. Right? This is a massive trade, a good trade for you. You traded very uh, limited uh, cooldowns and some bullets, and he traded in, uh, you know, his healing ability. His healing ability is 15 seconds cooldown. Your hack is what five seconds cooldown, right? His attention to shoot your team and heal his team versus 40 bullets from you, right? This is this is this is not Samra isn't always just about I need to get a kill. If I don't get killed, nothing will happen. Look what happened now, and you barely did anything. And I love this. You had to reload, right? You can't hack or shoot the enemy while you're reloading, so there's no reason for them to be able to see you, so you went behind cover. I want you to do this every time. And you're also attacking them from cover, right? So if they start pressuring you, you can back up. The only issue I really have is that there's no medkit around you, so uh, if they hit you too much, you could probably gonna have to leave if you would start his attack from a different position closer to a medkit, it would be even better, but uh, like there's a big medkit over here, this one, right? Could you have hacked that and then played maybe on this corner instead, or there's a big medkit, there's a small one over here, right? Could you have hacked this and then played Played on this corner, it could be a bit dangerous. But you can see, you can see what 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 happened with you, just annoying him a little bit, right? So what I was gonna say was, I love this use of cover here, cover when reload, cover when being pressured a little bit, right? Unfortunately, you rarely do this in your map in the whole replay, right? I want you to have this as your standard. This use of cover should be used 100% throughout the entire replay. This, is, this use of cover should be your default. There. You killed uh, their main healer, and uh, there's a second kill, so now it's 5 against 2, right? This is, pro this is now probably 1 already. And now, the 
this is really important. Look now. Rock, right? He threw rock, and since you happen to be next to cover, right, you could just go zoop, and he missed it, right? Uh, but he could so much easier. What if you were here instead fighting him, right? He rocks you, and there's nowhere to hide, right? You're locked in this. He, either he hits you with a rock, and then he kills you, or you panic and use teleport, right? And you teleport all the way over here, right? And you have to spend time running back. And while you're running back, he's going to get healed up to full. And maybe they can try to, you know, you know. <coughs> this is also the reason for cover, right? Unfortunately, we're going to see later in the replay that you are actually playing here, and he rocks you, and you panic out. So again, cover, 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 cover. I can't express how important it is for you to use cover to stand just stand next to a corner, a doorway, or high ground and looking down, because then when you're standing on high ground, then the ground underneath your feet becomes cover. Right? If you're standing here, if you're if you walk forward, let's let's uh, let's say that this tree this tree is an enemy, right? So if you're standing up here, if you walk backwards, then you can use the ground becomes your cover, right? You walk backwards and look at the ground. The ground is covering, giving you cover. Okay. So you could say that as Sombra, you shouldn't really be attacking the tank. But what's happening right now is that you are distracting this tank. Also, he's low life, right? But he's being healed, so the chances of you kill the chances of you killing him isn't really big because he's getting healed. He has cooldowns, right? Um, but you are distracting him, right? A, a team that has a dead tank or a tank that isn't being effective because he is uh, busy doing something else is in really deep shit. So even if you don't kill him, just you staying here, annoying him, making him focus on you instead is winning you guys the fight. Okay? Again, you didn't even need to kill him. You just need to distract him. Also, look at the ultimate. Look at your ultimate. You're on fucking 60%. Right? Let's look at the other one. Who's, who's closest to you? We have Echo on 40. And look at the others. You know? Barely anyone is over over 20. So. You just had a chance to stand here and farm this tank. Right? You're distracting him. He's not doing his job of tanking for his team because he's deal trying to deal with you. He couldn't deal with you because you're in cover, right? So you dodged the rock. So you can stay here for even longer and you're currently just farming him for ultimate. Right? This is this is really, really, really good. I know you're on console, so that was actually a pretty nice aim. Good, good job, you really, really improved your aim. So this is basically one now. Uh, you're being a bit too greedy, you should probably have uh, waited a little bit for your team to catch up with you. And let your tank work first, right? Because now you're catching, now you're, you have, you, he just rocked you, right? And <coughs> everyone is trying to, is shooting you because you're playing in front of your, uh, your tank. So here is probably the biggest mistake you're going to do in the entire replay, and that is you have your ultimate in, like, just by standing here and doing nothing, you're going to get the ultimate in like 5 seconds, because of the because it's filling itself automatically. Or you could come out of stealth now and like shoot 3 bullets and you'll have, your, you'll have the ultimate, right? Instead, you're going to try to go for a kill now. Why? <laughs> you have the ultimate in three seconds, right? Your priority now should not 
be to try to get a kill, to try to do the hardest play and try to get a kill, but instead you should just pop the ultimate and let your team walk over them and slaughter everything. This is just a terrible play, just in general. But also look at your positioning, right? Look, look what's up. Look, look. <coughs> look how many people you're exposing exposing yourself to, right? Did you did you have to walk through this doorway? No. What if you're standing here instead, right? Bap can see you. Sigma has it back to you, right? But you have to walk out. Walking out exposes you to him, exposed to her, right? Look how. Look. You have to be really careful about walking out doorways because it opens you up to so many more angles to be fired. <laughs> so imagine if you had used if you had just waited there uh, for your team to get into a better position to fight them, right? They're not in a good position to t if, if you would, if you would use ultimate now, it would be a waste, right? Because Saria is not ready to fight the enemy who was hit by ultimate bastion is not ready right so you just you could just chill there until the fight would start and then immediately pop ultimate and this way you are not giving the enemy even a chance to take the fight right it's like ding 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 time to fight boom ultimate right and then you guys clean them up and the fight didn't even start and you guys will also get a massive ultimate advantage because you just slaughter them, right? And if that, <coughs> so the fight will probably start around when the bot is around here, right? It will start. You guys ultimate, boom. Enemy, the enemy dead. You guys will push push the bot probably like all the way up here maybe before they can come back from spawn and try another fight. If you guys would want would win that fight, boom, the whole game finished in three minutes instead of ten minutes. So you're not setting up for ultimate here. Lost you guys the fight, or I mean, just you, just you not even trying. Is you literally just throwing the game? And look at look at this rat. Because you didn't move your teleporter, because now the fight isn't happening here, which, where this uh, this medkit would have been good. Now it's happening up here. And so you need to recognize that, oh, my old teleporter is not in the best position. So you manually destroy it. I don't know how you do that on the console. Maybe it's clicking down one of the thumbsticks, I don't know. Right? And then you move teleporter up here. You hack this medkit and you set teleporter up here. So when you teleport out, you pick this up and you're straight back into the fight. Here, just pop ultimate right now, right? You will hit May. You will hit these two. The Saria is about to engage them, right? They're gonna lose. They're gonna lose almost. They're gonna lose 50, 40 percent of their health. Get hacked, and if Sigma Shield is out, it's gonna lose his shield, right? So, um, engaging. The May is not a good idea. First of all, you're a clo close range hero and you want to fight enemies who don't want to be in close range. May doesn't mind fighting you in close range because of her spray, right? But the worst thing is, is that May has an escape ability. She has her ice block and a fight, a fight between two teams could be over in 15 to 25, 15 to 20 seconds of fighting until one team breaks the other team spirit or whatever. <laughs> okay, so you fighting the May for like eight seconds, seven, eight seconds, and only for her to use ice block, and then you have to fight her for seven seconds, eight seconds again, is wasting like almost the entire duration of the fight, right? 
unless you've seen May use her ice block. So let's imagine you're doing something else and you see the May use ice block or you can hear the sound cue of the ice block and she's still fighting and she's not playing more carefully because she doesn't have ice block. Absolutely take the fight. But right now we haven't seen her use ice block. So you have to assume that she has ice block. And if you switch to her, she has ice block. Okay? So taking on the fight with her is not a good idea, not a good idea over trying to fight something else. And there's several heroes who have escapes, right? Reaper would be a waste of time unless you've seen him use his Wraith, right? Uh, Moira can fade away. Like right now we could use the ultimate, right? It will hit Life Weaver, it will delete shields. Your ultimate destroys shields, it will destroy this shield and hit the Sigma for 40% of his health and possibly hit the Mei as well, right? <coughs> and your whole team is here fighting, Saria is here fighting, you would kill everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm a bit curious as what's your attitude to your ultimate because you're just refusing to use it. Is it because you forget you have it? Is it because you're afraid of wasting it? Is it because you're looking for the ultimate ultimate timing to use it, right? And then, then it never happens or it happens uh, when you could have already made a new ultimate by now, right? Look, I'd say, let's see, the absolute like ultimate use of the ultimate would be to combo it with someone else, <coughs> right? Like uh, the Saria grabs uh, the enemy team and then you also use ultimate while they're stuck in the grab, you know, just kill everything, awesome. If if she happened to have ultimate when you also have ultimate and this time and this happens in the next fight, awesome, right? But the a very high uh, ultimate value is also to hit two people, okay? Hitting two people with your ultimate and killing them is like the default average way of using any of the aggressive ultimates in the game, okay? Because then you make it five against three. And five against three is almost a guaranteed victory unless the enemy starts popping their ultimates and killing you guys back, okay? Even hitting one enemy and kill killing them can be enough to win the fight if that single enemy is a really important character, like their main healer, like an Ana, or if it kills the tank, okay? But <coughs> don't sit around on your ultimate, hoping for the perfect opportunity and thinking I'm gonna waste it, because holding it is wasting it as well. Like, think about it, right? You've lost, you've lost three fights, while you had your ultimate, so there's three wasted fights already because you're holding it. Fucking use it. Learn from it. Use it. Use it. If it fails, you can watch the replay later and think like, why did this fail? Oh, because it's being blocked by this uh, cover. Oh, because the Sinyata had his ultimate, okay? Then next time you can be like, next, next time you play, you can be like, oh, okay, Sen used ultimate to counter my ultimate. Next time I'll kill Sen first, or shoot the Sen, and force him to use ultimate early, and then pop mine after, like you do, right? But but you're holding it, and you're, you're not learning anything from just holding it. The mindset of like, I want to win the game. If I waste ultimate, I'll lose the game. It's terrible. You have to think, my ultimate is ready, I'm gonna use it and see, see, I'm gonna try to use it and see is this, was this the correct play or not. <coughs> and then you'll learn for next fight uh, what to do next time because you have like, oh, this is, is the same situation again. Last time this one, this, this failed because of this, because, because of X. Okay, we're gonna change up my play, right? Uh, Another thing I'm seeing is ah, well, you know, uh, let's not dump too much info on you at the same time. Nice. 
Like, did you need to hack the Sigma there? Could you just have shot him? I suspect you might be aware, but the hack, the somber hack, isn't isn't work, doesn't work the same as in Overwatch One anymore. So in Overwatch One, when you hacked someone, I believe they were could use their abilities for like two or four seconds, while in Overwatch Two, they can't it, they can't use it for like one point five seconds or something. It's not used. To stop someone from using, from starting their ability, it's used to cancel someone's ability. <coughs> Fucking hell, sorry. So, if let's say a hog is really low, and you suspect he's going to use his healing soon, in Overwatch One, you can just hack him, and he wouldn't be able to heal for four seconds. But in Overwatch Two, if you hack him too early. He just have to wait for 1.5 seconds and then he can heal. In Overwatch 2, you would have to hold the hack, wait for the animation to start, for of him starting to heal, and then hack him to cancel the ability. Okay. So the hacking isn't so good anymore, especially if someone's low. Just start shooting them. Don't use the hack first if they're low and you want to finish them quickly. So, let's talk about farming your ultimate. You guys just lost this fight, okay? Let's pretend that you don't have your ultimate now. So, this, this moment right now, where your team is respawning over there and they are going to push the bot, this is the perfect opportunity for you to try to earn some ultimate. <clears throat> so what you do is that you come out and you look and you just follow behind them, right? And you wait for them to get distracted or not pay attention. Then you shoot them and the moment, and I mean the moment any of them turn around and try to fight you, you teleport out. And this will earn you maybe like 10-15% ultimate, right? The point is, it's so long until the next fight because they are here and your team is all the way over there. It's so long until the next fight that you have time to attack, teleport back, and put up a new teleporter, and still be ready for the next fight, right? Instead of doing nothing. Now, don't get me wrong, you have ultimate, so there's no need to do this now. I'm just telling you what to do in the future. If you didn't have the ultimate. So, you now should be thinking, where will the next fight be happening? Okay, a robot is here, your team is over there. Remember, you can see your, th you, you can see your team <coughs> through the wall uh, when playing. So your teleporter is over here, right? But the fight, based on how fast this robot is moving and based on where your team is, the fight will happen here, right? And what's over here? What's right here? <gasps> Medkit, right? Imagine you running here before this happens. Hack, teleporter, then get ready for the fight. Instead of being behind them. And you could say, oh, I didn't know there was a medkit there. Okay, but that's your job. <laughs> As a flanker, you have to know all the medkits. Because you are so deep into enemy line, you have to take care of your own health and you can't expect the, your, you shouldn't expect your healers to come and, and heal you. Okay, so I would wager that if you go to Google and you just write um, Overwatch 2 maps med medkit location on maps, right? You can you can get a <coughs> this top-down view showing you all the medkits, or there's pro possibly a YouTube video maybe that shows all the medkits, or you can do what I'm doing right now. You can fly around the map and start looking for where med medkits could be. I would say that the best option is just to use this uh, uh, med medkit locations uh, on Google, probably. Okay? Because if you had known about this medkit, you should have set up there, right? So, this life weaver is going AFK right now. I would say come out of stealth and clip him in the head. 
right? Look, look, he's just standing there so long, and why aren't you? Why, why didn't you take the chance there, right? Who's gonna punish you for this? You have to teleport to set up. <coughs> um, even without the hacking, right? The Sombra deals uh, maybe 150. I think it's 150 without hacking and 170 with hacking. I think for uh, DPS. And if you clip it, if you shoot him in the head, that's gonna be double damage, right? So we're we're looking at we're looking at 300 DPS to his head. Right, um, and if you would kill him now, and look at your team, this fight is about to happen. The enemy team would have to take a five against four. That's already a massive advantage for your team to just automatically win. So you seem to be doubtful of what, of yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something about doubt on how, what you need to do instead. You need to do something. <laughs> and uh, it sounds uh, too easy, I know, but when you're in a situation and something happens... <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry, let's mute this. If you're in a situation and an opportunity arrives and you doubt yourself because you're worried about losing the fight, right? You're, you're thinking, oh shit, what's the correct play? I don't know. If I do the wrong play, I might lose the fight. It's still better to try something and lose the fight than do nothing. Okay? You have scenario A. Scenario A will be the correct play, and you win the fight. Hooray! Scenario B will be, it's the incorrect play, and you lose the fight. Hooray! <laughs> because you learn something, okay? So the next time you're in that situation, you can think, okay, B was the wrong choice. We'll try A this time, <laughs> right? But you are choosing C, option C do nothing right so you miss the opportunity and you miss the chance to learn something so you have to be like I don't know what's the correct play I am looking forward to finding out <laughs> right because don't just don't choose C okay don't choose C Why did, you, why did you position here? Now there's a chance that someone will hit you with an attack, and why haven't you used the ultimate already? Like, again, what? She didn't need hacking, she needed shooting, right? <laughs> right? You deal 150 damage per second, and she's on 33 health, I think. Right? If she didn't need hacking. Hacking takes extra seconds for you to start instead of shooting. And because of that, she's saved. And now you're caught. And look, you're caught in the open, right? Remember? You're caught in the complete open instead of doing this from some kind of cover, right? Here, here, there's a medkit there, you have ultimate, right? have to take things down to the basic. Playing from cover is one of the absolute basic rules rules you have to follow, okay? So because you didn't play from cover, you have to teleport out. You had ultimate, right? This is like, what is it? This is this the fourth fight you had ultimate and you didn't use it. You have thrown four fights in a row. And we can't, we, of course, we can't say that, oh, because your ultimate would have guaranteed to win. We can't say that. But you're not even trying. Okay, if you had used it, 
and failed to win, I wouldn't go, oh, you did so bad, blah, blah, blah. I would say, you tried, better luck next time. But you're not even trying. And this is throwing. You're throwing your match. Did you, did you have to do that in the middle in front of absolutely everyone? Huh? Couldn't you have... <coughs> Could you have done that like, like from here? From here? Like, I'm pretty sure it goes through the bush, I'm guessing. Right, from here? From, did you have to jog? Okay. Right? You you held your ultimate for that long, wasting, losing, pub, probably being the reason you you guys lost four fights and now you use it and you waste it again. So, you, so you're the reason, you're the main reason you guys lost five fights. with three people with 70 health. So many opportunities where you could just have shot someone in the face instead of hacking them and then shooting them, right? The opportunity was there. Instead of getting the kill, you hacked first, wasting bullet time, wasting bullets kind of, you know, wasting time could, could have been done shooting instead. standing and watching your sorry die. Let's look at this again, right? I mean, your team is in deep shit. <laughs> you just lost both healers, okay? You're probably gonna lose this. <coughs> but at least before you lose this, you can try to earn some ultimates. Or maybe you can do this with Saria, because if Saria is high energy, 84% the maybe the, the most dangerous or one of the top most dangerous heroes in the entire game is a high charge Saria and maybe she coming from here and you coming from the left could maybe you could make something work here maybe you could win this okay but not if you stand and watch right she's going in okay she is now telling the enemy team, hey, I'm here, you have to respect that I'm here or I'm gonna kill all of you, right? She's tanked, she's now creating space for you to get off shots uh, for free, right? They can't exactly turn towards you and start fighting you with a Saria laser up their ass, right? And you're, look where you are, you have cover, you have a hacked medkit, this is gonna respawn, you know, every... I don't know, is it every 5 seconds instead of 10 seconds maybe, I think, right? You can stand here, you can shoot out, you can help her as much as you can. If you guys failed this, okay, you failed, but at least you earned 20-30% ultimates, right? But instead, you're just standing here and you're doing nothing, right? Attack right now, and how much, how long do you wait before you actually do something? Two, three, four. Take you like 4 seconds before you fight, look at your Saria. Right? Could you have done something here to help her? 
possibly. Now you're gonna help. Now you're gonna fight when she's on 50 health. Right there was the. I there was the there was the the uh, chance for you to do something. Right there was A, B, or C. Right, attack or don't attack or do nothing. You did. You chose to do nothing. but doable okay you just use teleporter which means you don't have it for an escape now right your team is not ready for this fight no one's here is ready so if you attack now you're gonna draw the attention of this entire group you have medkit there when they push up some more you'll you can shoot them up the ass from this cover this cover here right so what you do now is you wait, you check if your team is ready, and you wait. Unfortunately, you're going to attack. You get a kill. Okay, nice. Did you have to walk that close? Because now they now that, now they catch you, right? You don't. You could possibly have gone that close if you had teleporter, but we know you just used it, right? You're attacking like you have teleporter ready for you to be used, but you don't have that. You could have you could have stayed here, right? And possibly shot from here and if they push you you could drop down, you know, zip, go in here maybe, there's a medkit there, or you could just wait. Right? But you did the worst possible thing is to push too early without having an escape plan. And now you die right as the fight is starting. Look! Now the fight is starting. Now your team is ready to fight. And you're dead. If you die first in the fight, even before anyone else dies, that's like that's throwing again. <laughs> okay? Then you did then you massively fucked up. This is really, really, really bad. Dying dying first is like it's your. It's, it, we can almost say it's your fault for this fight. That if it goes to hell now, it's, it's your fault. Okay. At least you tried, right? So remember next now, why didn't this work? Well, because you used it in this position, like this bot here, just blocked uh, pretty much your ultimate attack. Okay, so that's why that didn't work. But uh, as well, <coughs> uh, no one's it's, it's like no one's really ready for this ultimate, right? Start checking uh, if your team can actually follow up on your ultimate by just looking behind you like is my team here with me are they ready why didn't you push that you had life you have this life tree Isn't this life weaver's uh, ability? This tree, this tree is going to heal you. Your whole team is pushing up. The enemy team is in so deep shit right now, and you're backing up, backing off. Go, fight, kill, destroy. Like at this point, just let's see. No, no. never mind. Don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> so I 
don't mind this position because you have this cover, right? We know what the enemy wants. They want to push the bot up, right? This position you're in right now, the enemy has to push around this corner, right? This corner right here. The moment they push around corner, you start shooting them. And why? Your team is also here, right? The tank is about to walk up. He's going to draw their attention, and you can start shooting them for free. So, again, right? Look at this. Look at her health. Does she need to be hacked here? No, just shoot her. shoot him with two out of your 60 bullets to kill him and you hacked him instead of just shoot him. Then you push this too much and you're gonna die for this I think. So you're doing something called front lining where you're walking in front of your tank, right? And then if you walk in front of your tank, you are the one who's going to get the attention of three enemy players. Maybe I'm gonna stop it here. <sighs> so, what you do here is super great. These enemies haven't pulled out, right? They are they've lost the fight and instead of running away or jumping in a hole or something they're trying to get away from this fight which is a mistake because now you guys can chase them and kill them and so killing these two means that you, you can see the may in the distance there right killing these two <coughs> will make them die really really late and then if may try to fight you guys it's gonna be may against five people <laughs> and you guys are gonna kill her as well and then the healers are going, the, the other DPS and healers are going to come back, but then it's going to be five against two, and it's just going to keep rolling like this. And they, unless they group up, uh, you're just going to keep rolling them the entire way and win the game. So you guy, you running up here, you, <coughs> you not, you know, running out, flanking now, setting up teleporter, whatever. You realizing that these guys fucked up, and you running out here and starting to attack them. Is the correct play. Very good. But now, look, there's there, there's more people in trouble. You, now you're like, okay, I got him. Eh, time to chill. Right? No, not time to chill. Shoot. Run after this library. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Run. Go stealth. Chase after him. Right? You're allowing him to get away. Just saw May use her ice uh, block, right? Uh, I would just use ultimate right now. Okay. Right, it's gonna hit the ultimate is gonna hit May, and we know it's just that ice block. It's gonna hit Echo. It's gonna take both of them down to like one quarter of a health kill both of them, five against three, win the game, done instead you die again we're gonna stop here, but by my calculations you have thrown let's see, right? You waited four fights, you waited three or four fights before using your first ultimate, so that's like three fights thrown. You used it, but completely wasted it. That's another throw. Or well, not throw, but that's another waste. And now again, right? And 
you've and attacking, attacking too early, like it's you've been like the main reason you guys have lost like five or six fights. I'm gonna stop it there. So you can go back to the beginning of this video if you want and listen to what I t what I tell you about what your priorities should be. Okay, totally do.